late September bow hunting here in Kentucky. It doesn't get any better than that. I'd say I've been hunting this piece of property for a while and this week the cornfields have been cut. I got out this morning and I saw quite a few deer, most of them on the other edge of the field. I did see a small buck come right under my stand. Oh, right here, a little buck. And that buck has been showing up on camera with one of my target bucks. I got really, really excited, but my target buck didn't show up. These fields were recently cut and there's a lot of loose corn out here in these fields. And these deer are moving a lot, picking up little kernels here and there. That makes me super, super excited. I tell you what, we've got a north wind. It's not swirling, it's coming pretty much straight out of the north, which is perfect for this setup. So hopefully as I walk in, get up in my stand, I could start seeing deer pretty quickly. It's 60 degrees. It's gonna be getting down into the 40s tonight. This is all a perfect situation for a early bow hunt here in Kentucky. Well, set up and ready to go. Conditions feel perfect. Now the wind is coming straight from this way. We have to walk in this way. So any deer that comes from down here is gonna walk the path I walked in, as well as be walking right where my wind's blowing. Anything that comes out from down here or behind me should be perfect wind tonight. It feels great out here. I'm looking dead west. This is north. I hate hunting when I'm looking west when it's really sunny and hot, but I have a little bit of leaf canopy right here, and there's a lot of cloud cover. I'm really excited. This could be really good. You know, when you're sitting in a deer stand and you hear something rustling in the weeds, you normally don't expect it to be a rabbit. Man, I love hunting those things, but he's going to have to wait about two months. Well, we've got about an hour and a half left. Shadows are starting to get a little bit long on the field edges. And in the very back, I looked up and deer are just pouring out of the woods into the cornfield. I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but they're at least 300 yards away, but that's a really good sign. They're really starting to come to the field right now. We got a pretty good buck that just stepped out in the field. Way far away. He's way up there in the corner. Man, this is going to be a race against the darkness. We've got a deer making his way that we've been watching for a while. It's about 80 yards out. Now we've got deer on this point over here coming our way as well. I don't know if either will make it here before dark. Here behind me, they've now crossed the field. They're pretty much out of play, but these deer have been watching have stepped back into the woods. They've been doing that all night, and they've been popping out. They're making their way to us, but it's very slow. They could walk this trail that's literally right in the woods, which would put them underneath my tree, or hopefully they pop back out right here in the field. Find my arrow. 
we waited till it was dark, then some, before we got down the tree. I just didn't feel very comfortable about my shot. So we get down. Of course, the arrow was right there where we found it. Looks like a clean miss. I mean, there's very, 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 very little of anything on a couple of hairs, the smallest little speck of blood. Thought, wait a minute, I saw that deer go up and kick. I'm thinking, well, something's up here. So we heard some thrashing while we were in the stand after the shot, like a while after the shot. Walked over, found a significant amount of blood and started tracking it. We're in some thick stuff now. I mean, it's thick, 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 but the blood's getting thicker. I think we're getting close. Oh, look, there she lays right there. There she lays. All right. Oh my goodness. What? What a crazy experience, man. I'll tell you what, I've been bow hunting since I was 13 or 14 years old. Never have I ever seen a situation where I had an arrow that was this dry and started finding the puddles of blood that we found and was able to track this deer and find it. I tell you what, I couldn't be more excited. You know, tonight was supposed to be a buck hunt. I planned on buck hunting, but when this doe came in and I have room in the freezer, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take this shot with a little luck and some persistence and just sticking with it, I got my deer.